how to use an analytical balance. An analytical balance differs from a top-loading balance primarily in that it can measure masses to greater accuracy. This particular balance can measure a mass to four decimal places. Because of its accuracy, we want to be very careful how we behave around an analytical balance. We should avoid leaning on the bench top. And the balance itself is sensitive to drafts, and so you'll see that the balance pan is enclosed in a glass case with drawers. You can access the balance pan by opening a drawer, and you can put, in this case, a piece of weighing paper, and we would tear it by closing the door first and then tearing the balance to set it to zero. It's important that we don't overload an analytical balance because its primary purpose is to measure masses very accurately. We should not be using them for, for measuring very large or heavy objects. Once we've teared the balance, we can open the door and add the material that we're seeking to weigh. After having loaded the sample onto the analytical balance, we can close the door. We may have to wait one or two seconds for the balance to equilibrate, but now Seeing that the scale has stopped moving, we can read the mass measurement to be 0 0.9260 grams. And we assume an uncertainty of plus or minus 0 0.0001 grams in this measurement.